it's time to face your fears about yeast. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. On today's episode of Quick Tips, we tackle the mysteries of yeast. Yeast is a marvelous and mysterious thing. It works great in breads, coffee cakes, and homemade pizza dough, which we're doing very soon. So what is yeast? Well, yeast looks like any other spice in the kitchen, but it's not a spice. It's just this dry, grainy substance called active dry yeast. It comes in individual foil packages, or you can get it in a jar. My personal favorite is the one pound foil package that I can get at my farmer's market. I keep it in a Ziploc bag, and this will last me for over a year. I just put it in the refrigerator. You can even freeze it, but if you get the jar, I wouldn't freeze that. So what does yeast do? It makes doughs rise and puff, and this builds texture and flavor in your doughs and recipes. How does yeast work? You start off by dissolving a little bit of lukewarm milk or water to activate the yeast. It's like the pig in your family. It can do a lot of work, but if it doesn't get something to eat, it may not feel like rising to the occasion. So what do you feed it? You give it a little bit of sugar, about a tablespoon. The recipe I'm using today calls for half a cup of lukewarm water. So you just pour it right in. You get your battered old blue spatula and give it an easy little stir just to mix in. And that's it. You wait five minutes for it to puff, at least five minutes. But through the magic of time-lapse photography, you get a front row seat. Come closer. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. It started in the bottom of the bowl and it has come up all that way, almost over the bowl. You can't beat that. So what causes this rising action? Well, just like the pig in your family, yeast goes around devouring everything in sight. And as Julia would say, it develops this tremendous gas. And that's what causes the rise. Yeast is like a transplant organ. It cannot survive outside the recipe for very long. If you let this sit for 30 minutes, it's a goner, and you'll have to start all over. So be sure and transplant it into the recipe as soon as you dissolve it. Let's talk about the timing for rises. Most recipes have one or two rises that last for roughly one and a half to two hours at room temperature. Mild heat can make it go faster, but if you put it in the oven, you'll kill the yeast and you'll be sad. Dead yeast is like a dead pig. No more If you don't kill it, yeast is very much like a child. It's easy to work with and very forgiving. So don't be afraid of yeast. It's just a pig with a gas problem. <laughs> if you think you don't have the time for yeast, think again, because you do. You can slow things down by putting a yeast dough in the refrigerator and extending the time from two hours to six or even eight hours because the cold atmosphere of the refrigerator slows things down like molasses in January. Or the secret fun thing is to place it in the freezer and that stops the yeast action completely. And then you can come back when you're ready the next day, in a week, maybe a month and start right back over with no side effects. That's the beauty of yeast. You're in charge. So you can very much make wonderful yeast recipes on your time. Well, if you like this quick tip on how to dissolve and work with yeast, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or just want to learn how. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. Drop me a line in the comments below telling me what you think about yeast and how it's working for you. How big did it rise? I'm Jim Hightower and remember, everyone needs help, even me. 